is going on you guys welcome to a brand new video so right now this video is going to be all about my webcam that i've been using for about since last summer and that is the elgato face cam i've been using this webcam for about a few months and today i'm going to show you how you can take the webcam from looking great to amazing this looks pretty amazing background blurring and all that good stuff that is actually a separate program that i use pretty much you're only going to need two things that is the webcam either the elgato face cam or any face cam really preferably 1080p one if not there are other programs you can use your phone as a webcam for those i'll put some links in the description down below for you guys if you have your webcam all set up all you need is one other program the nvidia broadcast that is also in the description down below for you guys to click on and go download it is a free program specifically made for microphone speakers and camera so assuming you have everything set up and downloaded let's go ahead and show you what you need to do to get your camera looking like this okay first like i said you're going to need nvidia broadcast so once you click the link down below it'll take you here all you have to do is hit download now go through the whole official express setup and then once you're done it should look like this uh, right here on the left you will have to go ahead and select the webcam you are using once you do that, then down here you just select the resolution. For me, this face cam allows me to do 1080p at 60 frames, so that is currently what we're using right now. And right under that, once you have your webcam set up, you're going to go ahead and see effects category. Now this is where you get the blurred background without having a green screen. I have no green screen back here. So I can literally, because of this program, and depending also on your PC, I can literally blur the background remove the background so when i'm doing gameplay videos which i'll show you in a few it'll actually just have the game behind you as if you had a green screen uh, you can also add your own background so let's see you can do a background replacement right here this is the official nvidia broadcast replacement which is pretty cool but you can also add your own so you want to add a, a beach behind you or like a dr disrespect kind of setup anything like that you can do that with by selecting background replacement and then the category right under here where you click on that folder you go ahead and find the picture that you're looking for to replace as your background i'm perfectly fine just having the background blurred for now until i have my setup fixed up a little. now once you select that you're going to enable it right here on the right and underneath that you have strength so right here i have it set just slightly up because i don't want to be exaggerating I even might tone it down just a little bit, but if you want it to be exaggerating, you can raise it up all the way. You can bring it down all the way down. Now this is this is actually a little bit more acceptable, but I kind of like a little bit more of that bokeh effect. So I'm gonna put mine exactly where it was before, a little bit right here, maybe a little bit down. Okay. So after you do that, you have two options: performance and quality. Now if you select quality it is going to look nicer but at the same time you will have to make sure that your pc is capable to keep up with quality if not there's also performance so if you're aiming for so i'm assuming if you're aiming for that 60 frames per second with your camera you're gonna want to do performance just to have a more smooth footage but for me i'm gonna go ahead and leave it on quality because i have not had any issues with it there is also another option down here for video noise removal which is going to go ahead and get rid of all those extra like particle effects happening in your video that you could also set it to strong or weak i turned mine off because i kind of don't like the smooth skin effect that it gives me and it just doesn't look natural so i prefer it off and right after that you just leave this open once you have it open depending on the program that you use i myself use streamlabs desktop I use OBS, it works on OBS as well, but I personally prefer Streamlabs because it makes a lot of things simpler. So once you do that, you're going to go ahead and have your scene set up for, let's say, um, for like this desktop right here. You're going to go ahead and make sure that you have a video capture source. So for example, I'm going to go right here and hit plus. I'm going to go ahead and go to video capture device. You're going to hit add source. And um, you're going to go ahead and select right here where it says add a new source instead. You're going to select that, hit add source. Once you do that, you're going to have the option right here where it says device. 
you're going to have the option where it says camera and video broadcast. You're going to select that, hit close, and it will go ahead and appear right here. The way everything you set everything up here on the NVIDIA broadcast is going to appear here on your Streamlabs, your OBS, anything that you use. But if you already have a video source already set up in your stream overlay or whatever, make sure you actually, at least this is what I had to do, delete that video source, just remove it altogether and restart the uh, NVIDIA broadcast program, set everything up, leave it open, minimize it, then you go back into your OBS stream labs and then add the source brand new. Because if not, if you already have a video source on your um, stream labs or, or OBS, it will then end up telling NVIDIA program, hey, you already have your camera working on another program, so we can't open it here. So like I said, just add a new source altogether. Remove the old one, add a new. Now let's go ahead and see how this looks during some gameplay. Right now I have Horizon Zero Dawn running on my PC and let me go ahead and move this to my second screen here. Okay, so normally this would be okay. You know, like the video looks a little too big. You always minimize if you go down here. This is typical setup, you know, for standard webcams if you don't have a green screen. Um, but I would like to just have the gameplay behind me. So, you know, I, I've had green screens and whatnot. Green screens are always a great thing to have. The fact that I can use the NVIDIA broadcast program right here, which I'll show you. If you do not have a green screen, what you're going to do is go to effects, like I showed you. Go to background blur, and you're going to go ahead and select background removal. Select that. It's going to remove your background. Now let's go ahead and get back into the game here. So right here, you can see we have the game up and running and it looks as if I have a green screen behind me and it actually works pretty well. Now, if you're doing some subtle movements, depending also on the lighting of your lighting situation, um, you may have to do some adjustments with your lighting. I have literally one $5, five below ring light right here, which because I bust my other one, and this is the type of lighting that I'm getting and it works and looks freaking great so we could actually make ourselves bigger here just to make us a little bit more visible move this to the side a little bit and bam now we can literally just go into our game and we can just start playing anything you're ready to stream on twitch make a youtube video whatever you got the part about this is that you don't need to buy a green screen you don't need to have a dslr you can literally just have a a Logitech C920 if you want to, you know, just a basic 1080p webcam, or if you have an Elgato face cam, which to me is probably the best face cam, the best webcam you could buy right now, uh, which I'll be doing a whole separate video on it later on. And you are just ready to go. You're ready to play some games, play some Horizon Zero Dawn, some Hunt Showdown, Call of Duty, all that good stuff. Right now, my game is slowing down a little bit, I'm not sure why, but that's just because I have everything maxed out and I'm recording at the same time. So, yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys are able to follow through all that. If not, you can always, like, scroll back if you miss any steps. Like I said, the links will be in the description for NVIDIA Broadcast. As well as some cheap webcam options that if you don't have one you can look into and that's pretty much it all right you guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe we're actually almost at a thousand subscribers 99 subscribers away from that happening and i cannot wait i'll catch you all another time another video take care